Uh, I'm quite a lazy person. I'm one of those, like, avoid it till it goes away kind of people. A bit like my dad was with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm also one of those people, like, you can't say anything that remotely sounds like an innuendo in front of. So I was out for dinner with my girlfriend the other day, and we were just sitting in the restaurant chatting away. And I thought, right, I'm going to check the football scores, because priorities. <laughs> and, uh, so I was sitting there, and I was reading the live text from one of the games, and I just read this sentence, fisted away by the goalkeeper. <laughs> and that, I was gone. <laughs> I was just sitting there imagining weird fisting situations involving goalkeeper gloves, just like trapped in a vortex, my own disgusting mind. And after about five minutes, I thought, ah, oh, shit, I've not said a word yet. She's, she's going to know I'm not listening to her. So I thought, I'll go with the classic. Yeah, I know what you mean. You're right. Boom, safe. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I looked up and she had that glare. It was like, you don't know how she knows, but she knows that she's got you. <laughs> so she just went to me, you've not been listening, have you? And I was like, of course I have, yeah. <laughs> you know, you said such and such was a bitch and you were right, of course you were. Uh, what she actually said was the, uh, the unicorn jumped over the rainbow and skipped off with the pink elephant to live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, she did have me. But to be honest, I've never loved her more than I loved her in that moment because she played the game well and I've just got to respect her for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another thing that's been going on in my life recently is that uh, my nan's been in hospital. She's been in for about six weeks now. They'll probably start charging her rent soon. <laughs> Thanks, Theresa May. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a call the other day. Um, they, they told us to get up to the hospital because it looked like the, the worst might happen. They were thinking about discharging her. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like we might lose her. So we get up there and we're all sitting around the bed and she's fast asleep. Or she's dead. <laughs> the reason we knew she was, she was hanging in there is because she was snoring her head off. Like The snoring was that loud. If you were in bed with your partner, and they were snoring that loud, you'd be volleying them in the shins and telling them to shut the fuck up. Uh, but for some reason, the nurses weren't very happy when it did that to me, Nan, in the hospital. <laughs> uh, so we were sitting there listening to the snoring, and all of a sudden it stopped. And we're all, oh shit, we're all staring around in desperation, waiting for somebody to speak. And out of the silence, we just heard. <laughs> I have never been so happy to hear an old woman fart in my entire <laughs> life. The smell was horrific though. It smelled like meat that was like two or three weeks past its sell-by date. A bit like my nana's past theirs. 